Hello again. So let's create the singleton design pattern from scratch. So the example of the singleton design pattern is going to be life and death. Let's see how, we, how are we going to do that. Let's create the package for singleton. Sorry, singleton. And for every design pattern, I will create a main class to test it. Singleton main, and it's going to have a main method like this. So the main method will have the test conditions for the design pattern. In this example it's going to be life and death. Let's create two classes for life and death and we'll see what the singleton is all about. First class life and the second class death. Okay, we only live for once, we only have one life, I guess. We only die for once, that's for sure. So in Java language, we can simply create an instance like this. My life equals new life. So I got, I got an object called my life out of life class. I can do this as much as I can. So I have two life classes here. I have two instances of life classes here. So the singleton design pattern wants to make sure this doesn't happen. Singleton design pattern wants to make sure life objects is instantiated only once and there's only one instance of life object in the memory. So how can I prevent this constructor from outside world? In Java you can simply do to create a private sorry private life constructor like this. So this line will throw an error. It's gonna say life has private access to its constructor. Okay, let's get rid of, rid of this. So how am I gonna get my life object? I wanna be born. <laughs> okay, let's be born. Let's say public, sorry, public, static, life object. It's gonna return a life object. It has to be static because this class cannot be instantiated from outside world. Born. Okay. Let's be born like this. Return new life. Okay. Now I can call life that be born. But this is this still doesn't make sure this life class is instantiated only once because if I call this one again sorry see I have been born again <laughs> but it can't happen. We have to avoid that too. How can we avoid that? Let's make this object, this new life object, a, a variable. Let's make it a variable, yes. Public static, private static, life instance here inside the class. You can't ins instantiate the class, you can't access the private members, so it's safe here. My life here, yes and return my life. Okay, the instance is here, but it hasn't been instantiated. Let's make it happen. My life equals new life. Still, there's one thing missing. If we call be born method out from outside the world, we have to check if my life exists or not. So basically, if I am born, I cannot be born again. How can I check this? Like this, sorry. Like if I say my life equals null, instantiate my life and return my life. So I can be born. So let's make sure 
no matter how many times I call my life, actually I call my, the be born method, no matter how many times I call it, I want to make sure my life is instantiated only once. I can have a private static again integer here for the sake of example let's make it age okay and it's gonna be it's gonna be hypothetical it will be random new random dot next 10 okay when the class is loaded in the memory there's gonna be a random age variable here this will be instantiated and if I want to get get that life I can make I can create a static method here uh, let's say hello static void is going to be void hello okay I want to see this age here so I can say system out hello plus age my age is age let's see how it works so I have a my life instance here I will call my life that I have forgotten something public static void hello where's hello method I'm born but I can say hello okay what am I missing tell me oh it cannot be static sorry sorry <laughs> rookie mistake I have already instantiated this class here and return it so after I have the instance I can call instance methods yeah rookie mistake let's say hello and let's see what's gonna do it's gonna say hello my, my age is 5 well it's gonna be a random it will change 4 3 5 but I want to make sure if I call this again and if I try to instantiate it again I want to be born again and I want to say hello again let's see what's it gonna do so 5 5 here 0 0 5 5 9 9 2 2 you see no matter how many times you instantiate the class you will always get the same class same object and you can never instantiate it instantiate it more than once this is all about life and that is gonna be simpler because it's gonna have again it's gonna have a private static that rival here my that equals new that this one will be different because singleton design pattern can be developed in two different styles you know I can control the object here or I can take advantage of static infrastructure of Java whenever this class is loaded in the memory there's gonna be a my dead variable instantiated and stored in the memory you cannot do this more than once in the lifetime of the application this will also have a private constructor this will also have a public static void sorry that be that <laughs> yes it's freakish and I know I'm gonna die someday some someday and I will return it my death yeah that would be cool to know when I'm gonna die but I can't so I can get an instance of that my that equals that dot be dead okay now I'm dead <laughs> now, and I can say my dad dot goodbye something like that 
Let's create the goodbye. It's gonna be public void goodbye and instance method if not static it will say system out good bye world so I have one instance it will be returned only once it will be instantiated only once and it will say goodbye world let's see how it happens yes there's nothing much special about that well <laughs> in real life <laughs> I guess so there's one more thing here you see in Java language there are final variables this my that object can be final so it will be easier to, to remember you see that is final and life is life can only exist if you are born so life and death example can explain the singleton design pattern like this so thank you for watching